What is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today is actually a pretty dreadful Saturday. I don't know if you can see the weather out there. It's pretty terrible, but I am in luck because I'm going down to Central Jersey to train at my old college buddy's gym. He has a facility. He's a strength and conditioning coach. He is actually a master's exercise science. His name is Coach Connor Abreu, and he is actually an old buddy of mine. I played college baseball with him. He trains a lot of athletes, uh, mostly baseball players. I know he's trained like a bunch of minor league baseball players. And I think he also trained an Olympic rower, a bronze medalist in Rio, but he knows his stuff. He's been trained for a long time. Uh, he's an old cage partner of mine. So uh, we have a special connection and special chemistry. So I'm happy to go down and see him again and get a good training session in. Son of a, a bitch. bitch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment. So I am back from training with my friend Connor down in Central Jersey at TNL Performance. Just want to say I'm super grateful to be able to have gotten the opportunity to train with him and some of his guys and see how he works with them. Uh, firsthand, the first impression that I got is that the number one thing is the culture around that place is just so amazing. He uh, really embodies like what you want, the core values of TNL. Um, just every athlete that walks through those doors, you could see, um, embraces that and uh, has a, a total um, idea of basically how to act while in the gym and while training. And uh, this gives them the framework to kind of train hard and really just be successful off of those things are. Uh, so much more important than just being a good athlete. They go, you know, way farther in the grand scheme of life. So, um, big props to him for that. Uh, I was super impressed. Um, and every single guy that walks through those doors uh, introduced themselves to me, um, and they welcomed me into the TNL family. I was really, really, uh, just like astounded um, at everything and uh, the camaraderie that they had there. So. Um, that's awesome. Um, super inspiring and uh, super awesome environment to train in too. So uh, if you're in the area, go just go train there. Just uh, hit my friend Connor up and uh, you know, become part of that family. I think you, you'll make tremendous gains if you're an athlete, especially if you're a baseball player. So um, that was a little recap. I hope you liked that part of the video. Um, I'm going to finish my banana and then I will get into a bench session uh, in a little bit. What's up guys and welcome to the voiceover. Today I actually really don't want to talk about the rest of my training week. And I really want to just talk about uh, one thing that I did there, one thing that happened during the training session at TNL that actually 
caused me to gain a little bit of speed just in that training session alone. So when I was going to Connor's, I was really excited because I want to, you know, use some of his technology. And one of the things that he has is the laser technology. I forget what it's called, um, but it, you can see it in the video, it's set up um, to basically clock your 10 yard sprint start. So I actually, in the strength session, have the, you know, broke the unofficial record at TNL for the 10 yard sprint start running a 1.39. So I was really excited about that, basically because it was a PR for me, but also because it was a record and would have put me on the leaderboard. But we're gonna call it unofficial. Connor didn't have enough space on his phone to uh, take a picture of the actual time as proof. I'll be coming back to break that record and set another PR hopefully. So what I did in this training session was actually contrast training. And if you've been watching my channel before, you know that I talk about uh, contrast training. I have a couple videos on the topic that I'll probably link down in the description. And essentially all this is doing is causing post activation potentiation. And I know that sounds like a really big word or phrase, whatever. But essentially what's happening here is your nervous system is getting excited by the heavy lifting portion before you do the plyometric or the sprint type of movement. So uh, the dumb guy way I think about it is uh, basically you're tricking your body into uh, contract your muscles really hard by lifting a really heavy weight. And then when you go to the plyometric movement, it's thinking that it has to lift this heavy weight again. So it contracts the muscles anyway. Um, that's one thing that made me sprint faster in my 10 yard starts. The last time I clocked my 10 yard sprint, I was, I think I was like one six something. You know, that's a really good PR for me. So I'm really excited and that gives me a lot of motivation to um, do more training sessions like this. So if you like this video or if you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. I'll link some more um, resources down in the description for you to check out about post activation potentiation so you can learn more about that subject. But other than that, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.